brain tech yeah where tech is made simple so if you are running an older pc with older hardware you may be interested to know that you can use a feature called ready boost to help speed up and boost your system performance now in case you're unaware ready boost is not a new feature it's not new to windows 10 and it has been around now for a good couple of years and has been available on older versions of windows previously and basically it's a feature that uses a flash drive or an sd card to cache your files that can help to boost the overall system performance of your device now this can be handy so as an example um, you are running older hardware as mentioned or a low budget uh, device or machine and you have limited amount of actual physical memory so you have low amounts of ram installed on your device and your pc is feeling sluggish and slow and what you can do then is um, get hold of an old flash drive or SD card you may have lying around, plug that into your device, and then you can configure that using Ready Boost um, and basically give your device a, a little bit more extra memory using an old flash drive or SD card. So, to enable Ready Boost and to help try and speed up your computer, um, at first you need to connect a USB flash drive or SD card, and then once you've done that, just head over to your file explorer, locate that. SD card or flash drive and then just right click on that and then head down to properties and click on that and then yeah at the top you'll see a feature called ready boost now it goes without saying that if you are running newer hardware with an SSD a solid state drive this won't be available and won't offer any other benefits so this is um, available on older devices running older hardware as mentioned so click on ready boost and yeah you'll see a couple of options it says speed up your system by utilizing the available space on this device and then we can have three options we have do not use this device dedicate this device to ready boost use the this, this device now i'm gonna click on dedicate this device to ready boost so there we go so that flash drive now i'm going to configure to be used by ready boost and then basically it goes without saying that um, the larger your drive is the more memory you can allocate to cache those files as mentioned so i'm just going to leave that at the default you can configure the slide um, accordingly to give it the amount of memory that you would like but i'm going to leave it at default and just give it the full amount that um, windows will allocate for ready boost on this flash drive and then all you do is you click on apply and then just wait a couple of seconds ready boost is configuring your cache so that's just basically configuring that drive and there we can see it's configured that now and um you can see that drive now has only got 3.43 gigabytes free of the 7.43 it originally had and then once you have finished you can click on ok and now you have configured that drive which is allocating um, about four gigs or so of extra memory on your device to help speed up using ready boost and help boost the overall system performance of your device using ready boost and as mentioned more applicable to older hardware now if you would like to um, put everything back to how it was before you configured that flash drive once again you just head back to that flash drive or sd card right click head down to properties and we head over to ready boost and you can say do not use this device click on apply wait a couple of uh, wait a couple of seconds ready boost is configuring your cache once again and there we go and you will see now once we click on ok i have my full amount of storage space on that flash drive 7.3 7.43 gigabytes free of 7.43 so that's just a quick way you can use an old flash drive or sd card to enable ready boost to help speed up and boost the overall performance of your pc especially if you are running an older computer with older hardware so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one